your first goal against Spurs, where you got the ball quite far out and unleashed an absolute rocket, flew into the goal. We all celebrated wildly and thought, what an absolute signing, what an absolute strike. That was incredible. And then in the post-match uh, interview, Sir Alex Ferguson said it was Tevez's goal because it had stroked <laughs> his head. Do you remember that? I remember. I said, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> I saw everything. That's my goal. That, no, no, no. <laughs> there was, and then for a couple of days, they was uh, playing with me, you know. Nani, I think it's uh, Tevez's goal. We, uh, look, 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 look. And no, no chance. Oh, Tevez, come on, Tevez, please tell, tell them, them. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> And they was uh, playing with me. It was, was, was nice. That, that week was fantastic for me. It was the best week. My first goal. And that gave me so much uh, confidence for the rest of the season. Can you, well, take going back to that actual goal, your celebration, nobody, I don't think any Manchester United player had ever done anything like that before. Did the manager say anything about that? No. Because no, 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 no. Uh, that, that was something in the preseason because I had a pain in one of my uh, my foot. I scored my first goal in the preseason, and then I celebrate with the with, with the backflip. And the other goal, the next game, I score. I didn't do the backflip. So the the the, the people start saying, "Oh, Ferguson." said Nani cannot do that anymore. Uh. Uh, but it was not true. And when, as soon as we come back to the Premier League and my first goal, well, I was so excited. And I tried to do something different because normally I used to do just one backflip, you know? Yeah. Um, and that day I tried to do something uh, more difficult. And then I did I did the the flick but uh, first and then the mortal. I don't know how you guys say. <laughs> Nana, if I can just ask you about your relationship with Sir Alex Ferguson, uh, you mentioned a little bit earlier about how he dealt with characters. What was your personal relationship like with him compared to some of your teammates, for example, and how he treated you? I was at the beginning. I was uh, very scared of him like a father, you know, to make a mistake or say something wrong because sometimes uh, interact with him. I, want, I don't know if I, what I'm going to say, he will like. I will see him talking with other, other players. Uh, I wanted to involve, but what I'm going to say, maybe I say something, it's, uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> and um, I was scared of him uh, until I learned um, the way he are and understand. And it, until it came more to, 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 because I was more able to express myself. My English never been perfect, and I think it never gonna be. <laughs> but in that time, it was worse than now. And he, when he found I could speak more with him, and then he started, came to me and uh, give me a little bit more uh, attention. Um, and from there, I learned more about Sir Alex Ferguson, what he wanted to do who we are, and uh, yeah, the relationship starts to be better. And uh, I, 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 I even took him one time because he was my neighbor. So I took him because we used to go to London by train. And, and I don't know if his wife or some of his family uh, leave him in, uh, in, the train, in the train station. So on the way back, he has no uh, drive to, to took him. And then he was looking always for someone who lives close to him to, to give him a ride. And then I said, okay, uh, uh, boss, I can take you home. <laughs> but that day, it's so funny, believe me. The day I took him home was, uh, was after um, a game against uh, Fulham away. And I was in the bench and then he, he put me on the field and uh, I give assist, and then I was playing unbelievable with a lot of confidence, and then we we suffered a penalty, and then it was supposed to get Ryan Giggs uh, uh, take the penalty, and then 
I just feel confident. I, I grabbed the ball and Giggs didn't say nothing. Yeah, come on, take it. I took the penalty and I missed. <laughs> so, and after, after they score and we draw 2-2 two, two, and the penalty should be the 3-2. We are going back home and that day I said, boss, yes, I can take it home. <laughs> I drove him home, but he didn't talk with me in the car <laughs> because the dressing room, he killed me. He said, Nani, who do you think you are? Who gave, me the, who gave you the permission to, to take the penalty? Ryan. And then he killed uh, uh, Ryan Giggs because he said, Ryan, why you let him take the penalty? <laughs> and I said, oh, but he, took the, he, he grabbed the ball <laughs> and I let him. But, oh my God, that day was incredible. And I took him home and then I feel very comfortable did you, driving Did home. he sit, were you driving your own car or was your wife driving? No, it was me, it was me. Was so you were car. both in the front seat together? Yes, yes. <laughs> but it was uh, not awkward. fun. We were not awkward. fun. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long of a journey was that? More than five minutes? <laughs> it was 10 minutes, I think. From That's quite a long Max, time. No, Max Field. Of Stockport. Stockport or Max Field. Until oh, Stockport. That's <laughs> even longer. <laughs> We've talked about Cristiano a few times already. Uh, one question I am desperate to ask is, I think every football fan around the world has seen the video clip where Ronaldo... Beats, you're playing for Portugal and he beats three or four Spanish defenders and he sort of spoon flicks the ball. It goes <laughs> over Ica Casillas and then you head it on on the line and then he has a really big strop and he throws his armband on the floor. What happened? And um, Was he angry with you, really? No, I think he was angry with the referee. Everyone took you wrong. He was angry, angry with the referee because the ball was already in yeah. and they made a bad decision. Even, imagine if, if the ball was not in and then I took it before. I touched before. I was not offside. Um, if, you, if, you, if you see that video. But obviously, I, I had no intention to take the goal from him. I, say, I, I told him sorry in that moment because it was a beautiful game, a goal. And for me, that goal still exists. If you, if you just need to cut the part I touched the ball in the, in, inside, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, thanks God you don't need that goal to be who you are. Yeah. And he have so many goals to choose and and still enjoy his yeah. career and the, the fans yeah, as well. he's done okay, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Can you remember the goal at the Emirates? You was getting booed every time you touched the ball. With the yellow, yellow boots? The cheap. Was it the yellow yeah. boots? Is that, is that yeah. why, yeah? And then you came inside, split two defenders, uh, yeah. passed another defender and you dinked the keeper? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Tell, that was tell me the truth. Hard. Tell me the truth. Did you mean it? <laughs> of course. Why not? I saw the goalkeeper. I tell you, I mean it to put the ball in the second post because Jason Park was coming. Yeah. But the my intention is one of both because if you see the way I chip, I put a little bit of. Uh, Effect, side you know? spin. Yeah, yeah, side spin. <laughs> um, and then it was perfect. That is the way you try things in a game. So I cannot tell you I was not thinking to do that. Because if you see, if I don't say nothing, you will not say, you will say, yes, unbelievable goal, perfect. You not say, oh, he didn't want to do that. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Was, that one of your, was that one of your best goals for United? To tell the truth, I, I don't feel that. I, I was no. a play. I enjoy more to score from outside the box. Mm -hmm. The rockets, like they say in, there in, yeah, in, yeah. in Manchester. Um, I, I was enjoying more these kind of goals. And the ones I start to score a lot, the, the, the small chips, when the goalkeeper come out and then yeah, just, yeah. just chip. Yes, I, I scored a couple and then that was, for me, the ones who may satisfy me more, you know? A goal that doesn't quite fit into either category wasn't from outside the box, it wasn't a rocket, and it wasn't a chip, but it was very clever against Tottenham, Tottenham when Heredio yeah. Gomez, yeah, you thought he'd fouled you, you put your hand on the ball, Mark Clattenburg's the referee, says, no, play on, he rolls the ball out, it's right in front of you, so you just tap it in the open goal. Yeah, because there was a situation, 
I don't know, I don't remember who passed me the ball. I run with a defender and then he pushed me or he kicked me, it was a penalty. I, f I felt that, it's a penalty. And then I was very upset, but the referee in that situation, because I think Go uh, Gomez catch the ball with the hand mm -hmm. and the referee just did this. So keep playing, nothing, nothing there. It's not penalty, leave, leave him there in the floor. When I turn, I saw Gomez put the ball in the floor. So if the referee said, continue the game, they don't whistle, that means I can go there and score. <laughs> he was looking to me. I just kicked the ball back to the goal. It was a goal. <laughs> Brilliant. That was great. Brilliant. You, you will obviously remember the moment that you got sent off against Real Madrid. I think it was such a shocking moment. And it was a very emotional occasion. I'm, I'm not sure if you were in the changing room watching, but Sir Alex Ferguson was trying to get the crowd going, the atmosphere going after you'd got sent off. Do you think part of him knew that this was going to be his last season then and that's why he was so devastated that you got sent off in that game? Yeah, because for sure he, he knew that was his last season because... Mm. Uh, for a couple of years before it was hearing some rumors that's your that's the Ferguson last year and then it keeps going that's last uh, year from uh, for Ferguson and it keep going and that year was so special because it was doing great it was doing well on the Champions League and even on the league and um in that game, if he knew if we beat Real Madrid, we will be uh, uh, um, the champion of, of again. So that was a big opportunity. And everyone knew that because we were so strong. And they found a way to send me off in that game when I was playing very well. Was, I was mm -hmm. making the difference in that game. Mm -hmm. I remember that. And uh, yeah, there was no reason to send me off. And even the uh, uh, Mourinho and um, and uh, and Ferguson, they came to me and they say, okay, no, no problem. We know it's not your fault, not your fault. Because I I wanted I apologize to the team. Even I knew that was not my fault. No intention, nothing. Everyone saw I was looking to the ball. I was jumping, doing the Zidane control. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, but yes, they had to find something to help someone. 